Hello and welcome to PMZLounge.com. In this video, we are looking at a concept known as internal rate of return. And this is basically one of the project selection techniques. This concept is part of the cost management knowledge area. Now, we have already created a video on this topic earlier, but a lot of you wanted better understanding of the concept and that is why we are redoing this video today. A quick note here, earlier we were known as pmplounge.com. Now we are known as pmclounge.com and that is why some of our previous videos start with me saying welcome to pmplounge.com instead of what I just said, which was welcome to pmclounge.com. All right, enough of banter. Like I said, this topic is part of cost management knowledge area and that's where you can relate this topic to. We have created videos on project selection techniques because internal rate of return is just one of the several techniques project managers are ought to know, PMP aspirants are ought to know. Right, so we have created videos on all these project selection techniques. Second link in the description is going to take you to a playlist of all those videos. And I said second link because the first link is going to take you to an article on this topic. So if you would rather read about internal rate of return instead of watching this video, you can check that first link out. Also third link is going to be a playlist of all the videos that we have created ever created on the topic cost management knowledge area. So three important links, check them out. Let's get started. So first things first, internal rate of return is an important concept. This is a number that you as a project manager should take a look at, should understand what the internal rate of return of a project is because a lot of stakeholders are definitely going to do so. And remember, I told you that this is a project selection technique. What it means is essentially your company basically has more than one project and they are trying to select which project they should be working on. So you need to come from that mindset that you have a few projects in your hand and you need to select which project you or your company should take up, right? So that is how you are going to employ this technique of internal rate of return. So what it really is to understand IRR, which is internal rate of return, of course, think of the amount of money the project will return to the sponsoring organization or the sponsoring company. So sponsor is someone who basically invests in the project. So your company is investing in the project. What is the amount of money that the project is going to return to the sponsoring organization, right? So that is what internal rate of return is. In other words, it is about how much money a project is making the company, right? How much money is the project making the company? As simple as that, that is your IRR. And it is a rate, internal rate of return. So since it is a rate, it is mostly and in several places, in most of the places, you will find it to be expressed as a percentage value. So here is a more complex definition of the concept of internal rate of return. And this is the definition that I had shared in the previous video that I did on this topic. And looking at this definition, you guys wanted me to do an easier version of the video. So this is what IRR is. The more complex definition tells you that IRR is the interest rate or simply the rate at which the cash inflow and cash outflow of the project equals zero. Now I understand this is a definition which is still complex, which is still difficult to understand. But like I said in the previous video also, you don't have to understand that. What you have to understand when it comes to internal rate of return is simply the fact that whichever project is giving you a higher rate of return, a higher value, you should be selecting that project. 
that's how simple PMP questions are going to be and in fact let's take a look at one of the sample questions from the PMP exam around internal rate of return so here's the question there are three projects for you to choose from project a has an internal rate of return of 15 percent project b 20 percent while project c has minus 20 percent so these are the three irr values that you need to look at and based on this information provided which is the best project so this is actually a real pmp question and like i said in the previous slide all you need to do is select a project that has higher internal rate of return which is project b and that is the correct answer to this question so very simple question all that you need to remember and know to answer this question is the fact that higher internal rate of return is better now to make questions more complex sometimes pmi is going to combine two or three concepts of project selection like i said internal rate of return is just one concept of project selection it is just one technique of project selection there are several other techniques and you can check the second link in the description out to have to look at the entire playlist of all the project selection techniques so sometimes pmi is going to create more difficult questions and they are going to combine two three project selection techniques and they'll use all those techniques and give you figures around all those techniques in a single question and then they'll ask you to select the best project so that is how it becomes a difficult question but there have been cases where participants or the pmp aspirants have got easy straightforward questions on internal rate of return just like the one that you see on your screen right now so if you still didn't understand what irr is if you still didn't get the definition of irr it is absolutely fine the one thing that you need to remember about irr is the fact that the higher the internal rate of return or the larger the internal rate of return the more favorable that project that specific project with the larger irr or the higher irr value that project is more favorable financially to the organization right so the organization here means the organization that is sponsoring the project so higher the better in terms of irr that is the one thing that you should remember when it comes to this concept and that's all that we had in this video i hope you got value out of it i hope you were able to understand what internal rate of return really is subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already smash that bell icon to stay notified every time we upload new content and don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you